and uh, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install any app or get an IPA file of your Xcode project, either one, um, without going through the entire process. So first of all, I'd like to announce that, um, first of all, using my technique that I'm going to show you in this video, you will be able to put, test an app of yours on your device or somebody else's device wirelessly without connecting it to your computer and doing all that stuff. And you'll also be able to convert your .xcode project files to an IPA very quickly. So to get started, I will just quickly show you. Uh, I have my Mac and I have actually an Xcode project. I uh, you know those 15 slider puzzles. So I'm just going to open that up quickly. As you can see, I'm going to Xcode. I'm going to turn on my 15 memory game. Let me just take my iPhone out of the screen for, for a while so you can see. And so here I am in the code. And let's say I wanted to make some changes. Okay, so maybe my storyboard, I want the name to be T15 Slider. Okay, then I'll think of that. T15 slider again. Perfect. Now, I want to get this to my device, number one, wirelessly, and I do not want to go through Xcode's archiving process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top, and I'm going to go product, clean, and then product, build for, run. What this is going to do is just make sure that all the files are updated. I know it automatically does that. I'm just making sure so the program runs well. Now, I've made a few things. First, uh, The first one is actually an app. And what it basically does is it takes an Xcode project and it will convert it to an IPA for you uh, with a GUI interface. Uh, but there's another method that uses a shell script, which is basically what the app is using, uh, but in a GUI form. But there's the other way, the terminal way, using terminal, which I don't really recommend for advanced users, but I'll show you both methods. Let's start off with the method of the terminal. So now I have this 15 number game, and I want to convert this to an IPA. And I don't want to go to the, to the whole archive and stuff. So I'm going to right click on 15 number game and show in finder. Now what you have to do is you have to make a debug folder on your desktop for the GUI to work um, and then put the files and there will be a download link to these in the description um, in it. But if you're using the terminal interface you don't really need to have it in a specific folder but this file and this file must be together in the same folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to search terminal in Spotlight and we're going to open up terminal. What we want to do is we want to browse to our desktop and the debug folder which is where I've stored all these files. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run sh archive.sh and then I'm going to drag in the 15 number game. This, get, this gives it the path to your Xcode project. If we click enter now, you'll see there's a new IPA folder on the desktop and it's going to say it's starting to build the IPA file for the 15 number game app. So now we just wait and see our result. As you can see, it says archiving succeeded IPA created and it says completed building IPA for 15 number game, which is the actual app's name. Find it in the IPA folder on the desktop. So we go to our desktop and we see an IPA folder. We're going to open it and boom, that's where our IPA is. But let's say you don't know all this SH and you don't want to do all this dragging and stuff. There's another method. Now, there will be a download link to this app also in the description. Uh, what this essentially is, is I've made another app where all you do, I'm going to do is this for IPA is you give it the, you make sure first of all that there's a folder on your desktop named debug and the files that I give you to download are inside of that folder. Okay, that must be on the desktop 
in there. So now it asks you for the path to your Xcode project file. Now what you need to do is again, you just drag it in and start writing the entire path. You convert it and then you wait. Might load a little, might look like it's crashing or it's frozen, but it's actually from the inside not. It's actually doing work inside, um, uh, just converting it to an IPA. So as you can see, it gives us a result zero. And this means it succeeded in creating it. And so now we can go into our IPA folder and you find this. And so this is, I think this is much more convenient than going through the entire um, archiving process. Uh, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is as you can see, my iPhone here is not connected to my computer. Wi-Fi sync is off. Nothing is, it's not able to communicate with my computer. I'm going to set this right here so you can see this. And just in case you can't, I will mirror this on. So, okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go to Safari and I'm going to go to a website. This website is Diawi. Diawi. What this is, it's um, development, iOS apps, wireless installation. What the, basically, you drag in your IPA file, you click send, it'll give you a link. You put this link in a tiny URL. You put that tiny URL link onto your Safari on your actual device. And then on your app, actual device using Safari, you actually uh, download and install the app. So this is actually pretty neat. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to go to my desktop. I use the gesture. Um, and I'm going to go into the IPA folder. I'm going to take this, drag it into Safari, and drag it into where it says add files here. Drag files here. And then basically this is going to upload to the DIY servers, and then I'm going to click send. Now you can see that this create gives you a link. Now I bet you don't want to type that out in your iOS device and you're too lazy to send it through email. So all you need to do is go to tinyurl.com. Problem solved. What you do is you enter this URL and I'm going to give it a good name. Uh, one sec. Here I'm going to give it a good name, 15 game beta 5. This is the fifth beta of it. And I'm going to click make tiny URL. What it's going to do is it's going to shorten this link here into this link. So now, uh, if you would give me a moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my iPhone screen and at the same time mirror it onto this monitor so that you can see what's happening. So you can see. I'm going to mirror this to my Mac and so just as proof this is actually mirroring and I'll keep this in front of you at the same time. So what we want to do first is you want to go to Safari. Inside of Safari you want to go to that tiny URL that you just created url.com slash and then the 15 game beta 5. So I'm going to click go and as you can see it brings up this screen which is incredibly amazing and it lets you install the application straight from the website and then you just click the install application button it's going to say install.diawi.com would it like to install whatever your app name is, in my case 15 number game. And I'm going to click install because I want it to install. I'm going to close Safari. As you can see, it's installing it again. Now, I already had this, so I'm going to delete this and install it again. Sorry, uh, remember, don't do the same mistake. 
uh, make sure you delete any old versions that you have of this app and then install it. So I've deleted the old version, it's installing, I'm going to go in and as you can see it gives me the T15 side and all the changes we made and now I can actually play this game. I can go to my about page, I can do whatever I want and just as proof that this works I'll do the first two numbers for you. Boom. So that's basically how you would, uh, first of all, convert an Xcode project to an IPA um, without going through Xcode's interface. And also, second, how you would distribute your apps. Um, uh, Apple would call this uh, ad hoc development, uh, distribution, sorry, deployment. Um, for free and that's it thank you and goodbye and also one more thing i'd like to give a, a little credit to some person on github his name is gillian serquan and he made the xcode archive script uh and if you go to his github page you can get the xcode archive uh, Ruby script, of which I have built off in another file, archive.sh, which basically um, lets the other script work. So his script is basically the bare bones of which I have built off, and I've actually been able to um, create this um, Xcode archiver for you. Thank you, and now officially, goodbye.